All right, so what's up, everybody? This is Creative Circles back with another video. And I just want to... This is Therapy Session Episode 1. I'm up late, and I just want to make this video on the trauma that I faced at an all-white school at Homestead High School, you know, back in 2012 through 2016. So those four years, man, they were fucking terrible. I'm not going to lie. They were a fucking mess from being called the N-word for sticking up for racism. I got called the N-word by the by the few black kids that were in the school. I got called the N-word by the white kids that were racist to the black kids I was sticking up for. Those black kids who got called the N-word called me racist for sticking up for them. Um, you know, I wasn't a fucking star football player. So if you're black and you don't play football or basketball, you're basically fucked. Or if, you, if you're just a regular black kid at an all-white school... You know, don't really smoke, don't party, um, just get pretty good grades and just go about your day and stick up for yourself. You're going to be challenged with a lot of different, you know, they're going to try and bait you into doing a lot of things that can get you in trouble. You know, they'll throw a lot of jabs at you here and there and you just got to learn how to, you know, if your parents, unfortunately, take you to an all-white school, you're going to have to get mentally aware, mentally strong that these people are not your friends. They're going to try to get you upset. They're going to try and get you heated. You know, I've been in so many arguments, just arguments, trying to stick up for racism and I've realized that doesn't work. They know what racism is. They know you're going to get pissed off. They're smart in using their words. These people that I'm referring to, these racist white people, they're, going, they're smart using their words. And it's up to you, young kids, to realize words can't hurt you. Um, words will never hurt you though. Just they'll make you stronger is, I guess is, is the, is the thing people say. So just realize words are never going to hurt you. Um, and actions won't hurt you either. Okay. Because let me give you guys an example. Let me give you guys a rundown of some of the shit I face. So one time this girl named Brooklyn Cly. She literally, um, Brooklyn Cly, she, what's, what does she do? She invited me to a party. Yes, I'm bitter about this because it's, it's just outright, just weird stuff that goes on in like white school. So she invited me to a party and said, everyone come. So I got the invitation. I brought one of my friend girls, and we came to the party. We come to the party having a great time. Um, hindsight, I should have known to not even go. But, you know, being young, not really having many friends at an all-white school, um, I go, try and make friends, try and have a good time. So I go, me and this one girl, we're just hanging out, having a good time, the girl I brought. And it starts getting crowded. So it's getting more fun. More people are coming. As it gets fun, Brooklyn Clyde comes over to me and says, Jordan, you're going to have to leave now. And don't let me tell you again. Mind you, I'm black. This girl's white. If I get an attitude, she's going to call the cops. That's just what the fuck it is. So I say, well, I thought I was invited to the party. She goes and says, 
Jordan, leave now and bring, and tell your friend to leave too. So I get invited to this party and this girl literally 30 minutes in the party tells me to leave or else. That was one scenario. Another scenario is this kid. I'm not even going to name his name just because it's going to cause some drama. But I used to play with this kid all the time. You know, we play baseball catch. We would play football catch. We, you know, hang out. And, but that was out of, outside of school. But during school, um, the first time I realized what fake people were, who fake people were, is when I um, tried to say hi to this kid at school, the first day of school. And this dude literally ignored me. <laughs> he acted like I did. I never existed. He acted like I, he didn't know who the fuck I was. This shit happened throughout 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th grade. Every single day. We would play after school. But when school came, no contact was made. No, hey, what's up, JP? Nothing. So I give you those two points to say this. Word up. To say this. They'll be cool to you and bite you until it's an inconvenience to them. And once it's an inconvenience to them, you as a black kid most likely will be the first to go. Unless you're a huge fucking basketball or football star, you know, one of those entertainers for them. You're going to be the first to go. Don't be smarter than them either. If you score smarter on the SATs, they're going to no the fuck you didn't, bro. You know, this shit happened. You'll get called nigger for saying you scored higher on the SATs than they scored higher on the SAT. Just a lot of different things happen. Those are two of my talking points. But if you're a black kid and you're gonna and you're in high school or going into high school, I want to let you know. Um do you um don't argue with anyone about racism don't even mention racism at all if they call you a nigger all, all you got to do is say what's a nigger what do you do for a nigger if he's a nigger and you say it with the most straight face you don't get mad that they called you a nigger it's, it's a word it's a word fuck it Fuck it, bro. Don't get mad that they called you that because you're going to go to jail. I know it's annoying as fuck, but they're going to look at you like you're a, you're an alien for not even responding to that. It doesn't even phase you. Call, Say it. Say it. I don't give a fuck. That's the type of mal- mentality um, we, we should, that I want you to be on because arguing about it is not going to work. I've done it. I've tried it. And if you punch them... You're gonna get you're gonna go to jail. You're gonna have a record. And yeah. So but they call you it, they get physical, they might have to get some pre existing conditions. Maybe they were, you know, they fell down the stairs or something or an accident. They slipped on an ice cube, slipped on a banana. Then, you know, I'm sorry that that it happened to them, but they slipped, they fell, they got hurt. So do what you will, but I'm not telling you not to do something. I'm just informing you what has worked for me and what should work for you. Keep your cool, stay calm. If they call you the N-word, don't get phased. Um... Get straight A's, be the first to class, um, ask a lot of questions for the teachers, um, and speak when you're spoken to.
And again, do your own research outside of school because they're not going to teach you everything. Um, and parents, if you have to take your kids to an all white school, I don't know why you sh- why you would do that. Honestly, but if you have to, for some reason, your job makes you relocate. Talk to your kids every single day about how their day is going. Have have therapy sessions like this, just quick 10 minutes therapy sessions or however long you need. Be involved with your children when you go to all white schools, because this makes or breaks people. This you know, shout out to my sister, Madison Page. She wrote a book on all of this. Um, if you guys want her Snapchat, it's Madison Page 4, I think. Or just email me or put it in the comments. I'll let you guys know what it is so you can buy her book. But she wrote all about this shit, bro. It's It, it was pretty terrifying. And yeah, that's just... A ramble of some therapy that I need to get off my chest. Just stay cool, everyone. Stay up. Um, Stay blessed. Love you guys. And go to creativecircles.shop to find out more about Creative Circles, screen printing and embroidery, the cool events we have coming up. Just check those out. See you guys.